Hi everybody, welcome to Deb's Way, and I'm Deb. You're here again this week for another Hashtag Tea Tuesday. And this is just a mug of iced tea, my Publix tea that comes in a jug at the grocery store. That's what I'm having. That's basically what I drink during the day. Either maybe I'll have some Pepsi, a little bit, not too much, or I'll have my Publix iced tea. Hot tea and hot chocolate, they're my drinks for like in the evening to relax basically. That's when I have my hot drinks. I know some people have their hot drinks in the morning to wake up. You know, that's never been my case at all. <laughs> so anyway, you have your drink when you want to and enjoy. Let's see. I think I did do a little shopping. Okay, a little bit, yeah, uh-huh. But in the past, I haven't really been out that much, you know, okay? Not just shopping on my own to shop for the heck of it, except at like Dollar Tree. Other than that, it's basically been the grocery store. And then I take advantage of wherever else we go to shop for groceries and look around. But just to go out and shop, to shop, you know, I, I really haven't done that much lately. I thoroughly enjoyed my shopping last week at Walmart. I had fun shopping on my own again this morning, just a quick trip. Um, I decided I wanted to go to Hobby Lobby. Somebody else that I know of had made a film recently about a Hobby Lobby haul and everything I saw there, it was like, I gotta go check this out at my local one and see what they've got. And that's what I did this morning. Let me show you right here. Here I come, Hobby Lobby. I know you've been waiting for me. First thing in the door, look at this. Pretty cool. The door is squeaked terribly. I don't, I don't know how much it is, but I think it's pretty cool. That might not be too bad, full side. Hmm. Spring has sprung. Beautiful spring colors, bright, cheery. Yeah. Mm-hmm. smaller version. This is different. There. That is different. All new items here. And some really different colors. Look at this. Hot dog toaster. Similar, well, I had a cotton candy maker years ago. This 
snow cone party station. Hmm. Oh. This caught my eye. All the summer goods that you could possibly need for barbecuing or at the beach type of thing, but basically barbecuing. Oh, did I have fun at Hobby Lobby? <laughs> I did. Um, I didn't spend a lot of money, but they had a good sale going on. So I did buy some sewing articles there. And um, I'll, I'll show you what I got when I get home on, in that regard. Basically, yeah, it was in the sewing department that I did most of my buying, but I looked through the whole store. They, the store was pretty full of decorations and stuff for Easter, St. Patrick's Day, the spring and getting some summer stuff in too. So it was fun to shop around and take a look. Now I'm going into the pet store to get Ginger some new treats. Yes, I'm. she loves this freeze-dried chicken treat and it's basically used for training. They're small squared treats, she likes it. So I'm going to get a new bag of that for her and then just swing into Publix for a few things before heading home, okay? Well, I'm back home after a little bit of shopping around on my own again today, yes. And I'm going to show you what I bought, especially at Hobby Lobby, okay? I don't even know how much my total was there. Everything that I bought was, it just happened to be that everything I bought was 50% off. Most of what I bought, even though I looked through the whole store, honestly, um, my purchases were basically back in the sewing area. So let me, I'm taking out a little bag here. I'm going to show you everything. Uh, I know, I, I think I made a mistake. I said everything was 50% off. Well, okay, except for two of these. $1.29 each, okay? Cherry mashes. I haven't had one in a long, long time. And the only place that I know that sells them is Hobby Lobby. So while I was there checking out, I grabbed two of them. Okay. Next on the list is it's a little um, keychain. Original price was $2.99. And like I said, I'll mention the original prices, but everything was half off. Hopefully you can see this pretty decently. It's a sewing machine, an old fashioned sewing machine, and I thought that was so cool. It's gold tone, which is my favorite, so. I'm just going to put it on my, I think I'm going to put it on my purse for right now, but it can go on my sewing machine case as well. Okay. And then I saw this item. Original price was $5.99. It's a Fisker's um, scissor sharpener, a portable one. I've never tried one. I thought I would give it a try. And the, the gal that works in the sewing department there at uh, Hobby Lobby told me that she has one and it works pretty decently, you know, for, for what it is. And then I got two packages of um, thin elastic, $1.99 a piece, okay? And all of these brands, well, Fiskars was on sale Fiskers and Sewology, which is Walmart's brand. Walmart? I wasn't at Walmart. <laughs> which is Hobby Lobby brand. I was 50% off. So I also got some lace trim. It was 50% off as well. $3.99 for the spool. And I got the whole spool. And I have a sewing project I'm going to use this on. I don't know. It's a, it's a lingerie product. So I don't know if I'll really show what I'm doing there. But that's what I got the lace trim for and the elastic for. Yeah. That, along with this item, is what I was looking for at Hobby Lobby. And actually, I thought I was going to have to go out to Joanne's to get it. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. It is a 36 by 24 cutting mat. 
which is going to go on my cutting table, I need a big mat. The original price on this was $36.99. I actually had an Ulfa mat picked out. The lady, though, at the sewing counter told me that, well, she saw that I put an Ulfa cutting mat in my cart, and she says, you know, that Ulfa mat isn't the one on 50% off. And she says, it's a Soology that's over there that's 50% off. And I said, I don't know what that is. And she said, it's their store brand. She goes, it's just as good as Ulfa or any other cutting mat. She said she's got a couple of them down on her her cutting table right now at home. And um, she she liked them. So she says, I, I get a lot of use out of them. They're about ready to be replaced now, but I've had them for several years. The Ulfa mat was $54.99. She said that that had been marked down by $10.00 from the pricing that she knew of before, but it was not on sale. This mat was on sale. So for, you know, just under $18, I have a sewing mat for my sewing, my cutting table rather. And that's all I care about. It doesn't have to be a brand name that I'm, you know, used to buying or anything. We'll see how the Sewology works out. So if any of you are, you know, starting to sew, work on projects or need some supplies, Hobby Lobby is having a 50% off sale on Sewology and also Fiskars right now. Also, this, the lady told me that the Sewology products, because I was looking at a, a rotary cutter, a Sewology one, but I don't really need one right now. But she said, don't worry about it. Every couple of weeks, the Sewology brand goes on sale, 50% off. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. So I just thought I'd tell you. Outside of that, that was my haul from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I did have a lot of fun. And I looked around the whole store, but I noticed that most of what I did buy was, you know, right in the sewing department. I did forget to show you one thing that I bought. And that's because after I got home from shopping, I went to the family room where William was, and I opened up the bag of goodies and showed him what I bought. And one thing, the very first thing I pulled out of the bag, I set it aside on like um, the I get a coffee table in between our two chairs. And I didn't put it back in the bag so that when I took everything to the sewing room to video a little film for you guys, I forgot this item. I don't know how I forgot it. It's like the keychain emblem. And I'll show you a close up of it, but it's a, it's a door hanger, okay? And it says, my happy place with the same little sewing machine emblem here that is on my keychain that I bought from the same place, of course. I love it. <laughs> you know, it was, let's see, it's marked $4.99 and that was 50% off. So I figured, you know, for a couple bucks, hey, I like it. And yes, my sewing room and my pantry, because it's all the same, my storage, I call it my sub storage pantry, and then my sewing room, it's all in one room. It's my happy place. Yes, it is. So, I just had to buy the sign, you know. Shoot, I was shopping for me. What the heck? <laughs> Anything to bring a smile. But other than that, nothing's been going on here so far this week. We are going to be meeting up with my brother and sister-in-law and going for lunch. William these days prefers to go for lunch and... Then he comes home and he relaxes for the rest of the day. And that's fine. I like going out in the middle of the day too because may stop someplace else along the way. Who knows? But definitely for lunch. On Wednesdays, it's Perkins buy one, get one for their entrees. We have not been there in a long time, so we're going to meet for lunch. I mean, you know, it's a BOGO. And you know how I am with BOGOs. I love a good bargain. And Perkins has pretty decent food and pie. Mm -hmm. So anyway, outside of that, we're having chilly weather again. Not too nice. We need rain. Um, I have got to get busy. I do want to plant a little veggie garden, just a few things. I already have the little tomatoes growing out there. My brother gave me a strawberry plant that is has bloomed and is 
growing strawberries. So we'll see how that goes. I've never grown strawberries before, but this is the season for it down here. So I'm giving it a try. But anyway, for right now, I'm gonna stop this. Well, first of all, I'm gonna take another sip. So I think before I end this, what I'm going to do is take you out to the little, real little garden that I've got growing. I mean, my flowers aren't even coming up yet. They did a couple months ago when they were fooled by the weather. It turned so nice. Instead of turning cold for winter, it turned nice like it was spring. And flowers were blooming and everything at that time. And then they died. And things got cold, of course, and they, things died. And leaves turned to brown. I have since trimmed up my flowers that had bloomed, hoping they'll come back again now in another month for sure when the weather gets nicer. But I do need to get out there and, and, and plant more that I want to put in my garden for the spring, get that going. It's not too, too late, but I do need to get that going. So I'm hoping to finish that up by the end of this week for sure. It's just me getting around to doing it, getting out there and, and taking care of things. But let me show you what is in my garden at this time, just a little bit. And besides, ginger wants out, so let's get going out there. But first, a quick sip of tea before I go. Yes, here we are out in the backyard, my little garden area. I, I barely did start to you know, get things ready for planting the other day. I need to come back out here and weed over there in that garden bed and I want to make it longer along the fence there. And I weeded this bed and this one, but this is the strawberry plant. And do you see the strawberry buds there? Yeah. And there's a fresh one there. Yeah. I mean, hey, if that's the only strawberries I get out of it, I'd be pleased I've never grown them before. I'll be pleased with more, of course, but whatever I get. And then this is the tomato plant, and it is growing and growing. And I don't know if you can see in there, but there are some tomatoes there too. Yeah, I'm pleased, and it's flowering, so I have more tomatoes coming out. It's been a, it's just one plant, but it's been really working hard. Yeah, but that's all I've got for right now. Yeah, oh, Ginger's ready to go back in already. Yeah, she's not much of a gardener. I have to get out of here and weed. I got some flowers hanging in over here. Gardenias, but see they bloomed like a month or so back and a lot of them died, but some of them are hanging in there. And this flower bush bloomed as well. Oh, here's a, I have a bulb coming up right down there. See it? Yep. So, and this one I trimmed back already, so I'm, it's greened up recently, just waiting for the flowers to come back. And then of course, every year, I have to come out here around the pool and weed and see what's taking place. Oh, back there in the corner, my, what was it? It was a mirror ball of some sort. It blew off the stand and it's shattered back there, so I have to get that cleaned up. But this is going to be a total cleanup job. Yeah. I hear you, Ginger. I'm coming. Back there, it's all like cleanup after winter. But it'll get done. Okay. Hope you're all having a good one out there. You take care. We'll be talking to you again real soon, but it's going to be bye for this Tea Tuesday.